YouTube, we're back. We're going over Chum Q today. Three sections of Chum Q. I'm breaking down the first section, which is what you just saw. All right? You're going to wind up, and everyone does theirs differently. It's not so much the movements, it's what you're doing in the movements, okay? Not sequences, not movements, but what you're doing in the movements. Remember, the forms are meant to study yourself. They're not a sequence of what you should do in a series of fighting. Chum Q means seeking the bridge. There's a literal translation, which means you and your opponent are there. You have to seek the bridge. The bridge is a point of contact between you and the opponent. The better meaning, in my opinion, is you are seeking the bridge between your upper half and your lower half. In Selim Dao, we studied the upper half. You were stagnant when your lower half, you're developing your triangle. Now when your upper half, or your, your upper half is in Selim Dao, now in Chum Q, you're putting them together. So you're not learning how to step into an opponent and bridge that gap, which is how some people's school of thoughts is, which I completely disagree with. You are learning how to put your two components, torso and legs together. You open your stance, E.G. Kim Young Ma, open it up, set it. You're gonna define your center fighting line, left over right. In our version, we roll our hands in. We don't come up like we did in the first form. We roll them in and we chamber. You set up your punch, left first, and you turn, punch forward. Tan Sao, Yun Sao, grab, chamber. It's not so much that you are punching but you are delivering that energy with the torque of the hips forward. Tan Sao, Yun Sao. You are resetting, torquing hips and elbow backwards with half of a shift. You're not doing the full shift. Repeat on the other side. Punch with a turn, Tan, Yun, torque backwards. Double jump Sao is the first movement. Boom, comes right out. Jump Sao energy coming straight forward. The elbow and the wrist, energy going forward. Relax. You're going to turn. Some people think of these as striking elbows. I really don't care what you think of them as. You're focusing on your balance and you're focusing on your shifting, okay? Some people you'll see, they rise all the way up here, like robots, okay? Our school, you sink, because you're learning Yuma. You relax and you sink in, to the elbows. You see that my lan sows are in line with my sternum. I turn one, I relax, I turn the other way. Two, three. You want to develop torque without toppling over. Boom, stop. Boom, stop. Boom, stop. It's also lopsaw energy with your pulling, okay? It's energy in opposite directions. Not only am I turning this way with the elbow going this way, which represents the lap out, but I'm also striking elbow this way. So I'm putting two energies in one direction. And I'm loaded for my next movement. My R school we fox out. Now it's our double fox out strike here. So I'm loaded on my third, and I rise. Rise, and then sink into tons out. I'm focusing on my elbow and the relationship to my core, okay? You'll see some people go parallel with their hands or some people do pucks out here. I do both because why not train them both? I keep my elbow one, two, three, or sometimes I go one, my elbow's flared out, two, three. The entire time, it's not, I'm focusing on the torque and you, my rising and sinking that my elbows and spine and legs are doing, one, two, three, then I'm launching my strikes. It's not one, two, three, you see some people do, that's bullshit, it's launch, turn, turn. My feet, 45 degrees, my waist, 45 degrees, shoulders, 45 degrees, but we're, you, we're seeking the bridge, turning, launching a strike as far as possible. One, two, three. Energy in opposite directions. Turning into my Lan Sao chamber at the same time. I'm turning with Lan Sao energy, but at the same time, I'm pulling this back. It's energy in opposite directions. Chum Q, in my opinion, is the most, it's the most unappreciated form, and it's the best one. My last movement's here. I've got to focus on that core. Put that in there. I'm ripping this in, and I'm setting it, my Lan Sao here, I'm torquing this up here. I set up my Wu Sao, going into my three Bong Sao's. 
Relax. Torque. Bong sao. Then I'm going back in energy in opposite directions. One. Two. Two. Last one. Three. Torque. Two. Sets up. We punch straight forward while we pull this in. Again, energy in opposite directions. Two. Then we follow through. Hip leads first, supported by this hip. Two. Box out. Then we join this hip with this elbow. Two. Jump. Time. Stroke off. Stroke off. I actually did say that. I'm not going to this out on YouTube. You just stroke it right off. Time. Chamber in. And you repeat on the other side. All right? Chum Q was all about rising energy, sinking energy, seeking the bridge between yourself, your upper half, and your lower half. It is not about bridging the gap between your opponent and yourself. Okay? Study yourself in Chum Q. Go through the movements. See you on the next video.